today's project I decided to play with some flowers and this is another new mold it came with you remember pink froggy froggy on the box this is the mold that came with that so I thought yeah let's do this So this was very experimental. I didn't know how this was really going to turn out. Flowers can be tricky because they are so light and they do tend to float. So anyway, I thought, yeah, I'll give this a go. I have played with flowers for a long time. My advice when doing flowers is just to put a little bit of resin in. This helps to stick it down and it also stops them floating if you don't put too much in. You might have to sit there for a while and keep poking the flowers in. So I thought it might be nice to just have a close up of what I was actually doing. So the first layer is in, the daisy, what I'm going to call the daisy layer is in. And this was the second layer. So when I laid out all my flowers, I left them where I put them and just poured the resin on top because I didn't want to take them all out again and try to reposition because it's fiddly. And then all I did was poured in a little bit of resin and used it like glue and tried to get the resin up the side of the mold so that the flowers would stick and they wouldn't sink back down. So that's what I'm doing here got a little bit of resin in the bottom and I'm just sort of smearing it up the sides <laughs> I'm picking up the ones that have fallen in as I say just sort of using the resin as a glue to, to stick them up the sides and keep them yeah where I want them so you might have to sit for a minute or two and just keep you know positioning them and repositioning them fiddling. I do have a compulsion to fiddle with things, I must admit, until it feels right. Yeah, I'll just keep going like this and this will be, as I say, this is the second layer. When I put the daisies down, I wanted a layer to separate them from the next layer. So that's why I put the greenery in, the leaves, and then put the other flowers sort of on top, just to separate the flowers up a bit with a bit of greenery sort of sandwiched in the middle. It gives a good effect when you see the final unmolding. And now this was tricky. I, you have to be so delicate with these otherwise they tear yeah and that big blob of resin on my mat I put these flowers in well it's leaves more but they kept breaking out so I dug them out <laughs>
once that layer is cured, mix up some black resin. The amount of resin I've used in each layer is too much. Um, just have something standing by and pour it into something where you can make something else. I just wasn't sure how much resin each layer would take. So you'll always have a bit left over. This is after both the flower layers have been put in. It's been allowed to cure. I always cure my projects for 24 hours, but you can just do yours overnight. and just pour in the black resin and this really makes the flowers show up as black always seems to do When you do your black resin, just use a micro brush like I'm doing to poke the resin down inside the head because it has a fairly long, like a snout, let's call it. You want to make sure that you get all the resin in there. Although, because of all the flowers on the front, you probably wouldn't see any air bubbles. And do his little toes. Make sure you push the resin up to the pointy bits of his toes, otherwise you'll get like half a claw or something. fairly meticulous when it comes to doing things like this because you know you do a project where you've got pointy bits or bits that are very detailed and if you don't take the time to do this then it could really spoil the project so I always take my time plus I, I do admit I am a little bit OCD about <laughs> working things in If there were any bubbles in the resin, I don't really think you'd see them because the flowers would cover them. But I did want to pay extra special attention to his toes so that they were perfectly born. Oh, the exciting bit, yes. I think this is what most people who use resin 
look forward to more than anything, unmolding day. When I turned it over, I couldn't believe it. It just looks so good. I was really happy with that. And I almost got both the daisies in the exact positions of his eyes. <laughs> Quite by luck. Yeah, and a few of the flowers that sort of hung over the edge, I'm just going to cut those off because um, they hung over the top of the mould. But yeah, I was really pleased with that. I love him. So I got some pieces of wood for my to mount my lizard on. And this is, I believe this is called dragon wood. You get five random pieces because they're natural and they're fairly good size um so i've got this piece and i'm going to make him uh like as if he's going to sitting on a log i'm going to glue these together in a pleasing way whatever that turns out to be so yeah i mean and they're very light nice and knobbly and gnarly they're the kinds of things you put in aquariums apparently you know for your lizards and stuff and this piece is kind of an odd piece but I like the shape of it it's kind of knobbly and burly but I'm going to cut this piece off because I mean I know it's natural but it doesn't look natural to me so I'm going to chop that off and put it in my project I might not use all five pieces it just depends on how they come together and the size of the lizard so that's going to be my mounting for my lizard. So in that previous footage, <laughs> could you hear the blue jays out on my back deck shrieking their silly heads off? Sorry about that. Because <laughs> I'm down in the basement and I had the basement door open and they're up there because we feed them and they're more food, more food. That wasn't enough food. So that's what all that shrieking was about. <laughs> Once they get going, they don't shut up. Anyway, back to this. I did try to glue this together with the three-in-one craft glue that I like, but it wouldn't hold. So I, and I hate using super glue because the only thing I seem to be able to stick with super glue is myself. <laughs> uh, so I thought UV resin, thank goodness I had some. This is such useful stuff. And it seems to have done the trick. It's bonded the pieces of wood together tightly and since I'm going to be covering this in moss and other things you won't see where the UV glue has gone so when I use the torch I gave it a little bit of a blast under the lamp just to make absolutely sure that it's all cured and I decided to decorate his stump <laughs> um, with bits of, I think it's fake moss actually, I don't, it's not real moss, it's synthetic moss um, and some faux succulents I will, if I can find the links to the faux succulents and I put it in, I know I've got the links to the moss because I just recently bought that so I'll try and put all these supplies down in the supplies list which will go in the description part And just sort of put my things all around him. I put him on there and sort of built around him. That was the easiest thing to do. And just sort of built it all up. It took a while. <laughs> and all these things that I'm sticking on, like the faux succulents and the fake moss, I'm using the three-in-one craft glue for that, not UV glue. 
when you do crafts and stuff, you find out that you need so many different kinds of adhesives. I've got quite a collection. <laughs> so yeah, use the three in one crafting glue. But I thought it would be a nice idea, since I think he's like a flower eating lizard, <laughs> to have him surrounded by plants. They might chomp on any minute. chose these colours of the moss, there's obviously the green. The one on the bottom right is a sort of a purpley colour and the one in the middle is a pink and they come, these fake mosses, they come in a package so well, you get plenty of them too. So I just I decided to do these colours to sort of blend in with, you know, his, his flowers. As I say, it's a little bit fiddly, a little bit time consuming, but I get down in my little creative area and I just get immersed in what I'm doing, so I find hours and hours have gone by, so I'm quite happy. I know this uh, sequence of me decorating his log goes on for a bit but I wanted to do it in real time so that if anybody does want to recreate you know the look you can see you know, what I did. And there we have him, happy on his little log. I hope he enjoys it there. 
And that's it for today. 